Ever wondered how the silent titans of the deep sea shaped the tides of warfare? In the vast expanse of the world's oceans, submarines reign supreme. These quiet beasts of burden lurk in the shadows, their presence felt but rarely seen. Their role? A delicate dance of power projection, deterrence and defense. They are the unacknowledged heroes of modern naval strategy. Their value lying not only in their ability to strike, but also in their capacity to deter potential adversaries. Submarines are the embodiment of stealth and surprise, capable of launching devastating attacks while remaining largely undetected. They are the silent watchers, always on guard, ready to defend their nation's interests. In this underwater world of strategy and warfare, two submarines stand out. India's INS Arihant and France's Barracuda-class submarine. Each boasts unique strengths and innovations that set them apart. Today, we dive deep, comparing these two formidable giants of the deep, India's INS Arihant and France's Barracuda-class submarine. First, let's explore the majestic INS Arihant, a true titan from India. A marvel of engineering, the Arihant is a sight to behold. With a displacement of 6,000 tons surfaced and 7,000 tons submerged, it's a formidable presence under the sea. Stretching to a length of 361 feet or 110 meters, this submarine is larger than most. With a beam and draft of 36 and 30 feet respectively, it's clear that the Arihant is no ordinary vessel. The sheer size of this submarine is an indication of its immense power and capabilities. But what size without speed, right? The INS Arihant doesn't disappoint in this regard either. A top speed of around 24 knots when submerged allows it to traverse the ocean swiftly. This speed is achieved in part due to its nuclear reactor, an 83 megawatt pressurized water reactor, which provides the propulsion required for such a large vessel. Speaking of propulsion, the Arihant's nuclear reactor not only provides speed, but also gives it an impressive range of 12,000 nautical miles at a steady 10 knots. This means the Arihant can virtually reach any corner of the globe without needing to refuel. But what makes this submarine a true titan is its armament. Equipped with 12 K-15 ballistic missiles and 4 K-4 ballistic missiles, the Arihant packs a punch. Additionally, it has torpedoes and mines at its disposal, making it a true force to be reckoned with. Last but not least, the crew. A total of 95 personnel operate the Arihant, each one highly trained and skilled. These are the men and women who navigate the depths of the ocean, ensuring the Arihant fulfills its purpose as a nuclear deterrent. A true testament to India's naval prowess, INS Arihant stands tall and mighty in the silent world beneath the waves. This submarine is not just a piece of machinery, but a symbol of India's technological advancement and military might. It's a testament to the country's ability to safeguard its territories and maintain peace and stability in the region. Now, we turn our periscope towards France's Barracuda-class submarine, a silent predator of the deep. The Barracuda-class submarine is a marvel of French engineering, a testament to a nation's commitment to maintaining a powerful presence beneath the ocean's surface. Slightly smaller than its Indian counterpart, the INS Arihant, the Barracuda class, still packs a punch with its formidable specifications. Let's dive into the details. The Barracuda class comes in at a length of 325 feet with a beam of 29 feet and a draft of 24 feet. This streamlined design allows for silent and swift movement through the water, living up to its nickname as the Silent Predator. When it comes to displacement, the Barracuda class weighs in at 5,300 tons when surfaced and 6,400 tons when submerged. Despite being smaller than the INS Arihant, the Barracuda class is no lightweight. It's capable of reaching speeds of 25 knots when submerged, making it a hair faster than its Indian equivalent. But what sets the Barracuda class apart is its propulsion system. Like the INS Arihant, it is powered by a nuclear reactor, a 150 megawatt K-15 pressurized water reactor, to be precise. But the Barracuda class has an additional trick up its sleeve, an air-independent propulsion system. This anaerobic diesel-electric system 
allows the Barracuda class to stay submerged for longer periods, giving it an unlimited range. As for armament, the Barracuda class is equipped with 20 Exocet SM-39 anti-ship missiles, four torpedo tubes and mines, ready to deliver a devastating blow to any threat. It operates with a crew of 65, a smaller team than the INS Arihant, but one that is highly trained and efficient. The Barracuda class submarine, a testament to France's naval innovation, lurks silently, ready to strike when least expected. Having explored these two underwater behemoths, let's now see how they match up against each other. In the blue corner, we have India's INS Arihant, a heavyweight with a displacement of 6,000 tons surfaced and 7,000 tons submerged. This Titan is 110 meters long, with a beam of 11 meters and a draft of 9 meters. It's swift, reaching speeds of up to 24 knots while submerged. On the other hand, in the red corner, we have France's Barracuda-class submarine, a formidable adversary, weighing in at 5,300 tons surfaced and 6,400 tons submerged. Yet, when it comes to speed, the Barracuda-class takes a slight edge, achieving 25 knots while submerged. When it comes to armaments, both submarines are bristling with firepower. The INS Arahant carries 12 K-15 ballistic missiles and 4 K-4 ballistic missiles, while also being equipped with torpedoes and mines. The Barracuda class, however, brings to the table 20 Exocet SM-39 anti-ship missiles and four torpedo tubes, in addition to mines. The propulsion systems of both submarines are worth noting. In terms of crew, the INS Arihant is manned by 95 personnel, while the Barracuda class operates with a crew of 65. So, how do these differences play out in submarine warfare? On the flip side, the Barracuda class, while smaller, is faster and can stay submerged longer thanks to its additional propulsion system. As we resurface from the depths, we're reminded once again that in the silent world of submarine warfare, every detail can tip the scales of victory. 